Joy, Seattle police say it's pretty customary to request SWAT for backup in some cases when they're serving search warrants, and that's what they've been doing here today. Prosecutors say that they rush filed charges against McNeil, who at last check was still in the King County Jail. Prosecutors asking for $3 million bail. We know him fairly well, or we thought we knew him fairly well. The sight of officers surrounding former Bothell Council member James McNeil's home came as a shock to neighbor and fellow former council member Tom Agnew. Oh, devastated, devastated. This is this is a tragedy. I mean, just a tragedy for the for the victim, for the victim's family, for James and his family. He says he was blindsided about the news that McNeil has been charged in the murder of Lilia Guvronsky, known by friends as Lily. Court documents say McNeil's attorney called 911 Tuesday to report a potential homicide inside her home. That's where police found her dead and McNeil with self-inflected cuts to his wrists. Lily's parents told police they were in an on-again, off-again relationship. Friends say she was kind, loving, and outgoing and told them McNeil could be controlling. We were stunned by it. We'd never seen that type of action from him. I worked with him eight years on the dais and uh, would never expect. Prosecutors rush filed charges Friday for murder in the second degree. He's in custody. He's going to go between a court. The jurors are going to decide his fate and uh, I'll still support him. You know, I'll go down to some of the trials, you know, but it, it's just it's not the guy I know. Prosecutors say an arraignment is scheduled for May 14th, Joyce. And what is the latest on the search inside his home, Erica? Yeah, well, Joyce, things have quieted down a bit now. There were many more officers on scene earlier this afternoon, but as you can see, we just have kind of one unit that's parked up here as they continue to conduct that search warrant. Erica Zuko reporting for us tonight.